We've dealt with the power situation for now. For now, it is dealt with. Let's make some ender crystals. Oh, what are they called? End crystals. Yeah, let's make some end crystals. Oh, I need to dump my backpack. Make four of these. We'll go back to the end. We'll go back to the end and we'll kill the dragon one more time so we can get some basic data models for it. So we need to place these here. This is how you resummon the ender dragon. There we go. Oh, that 0.7 step height is going to be nice. Bro, those things over there, the ones with the weird head are creepy as shit. Damn, your knockback is insane, actually. But luckily, I heal a ton. There we go. Alright, data module is now basic. Sweet. We got some more arcane essence, which is good. We're gonna need that uh, later for something. Some more XP. What did that go to? Repairing my gear and stuff? Probably. Okay. Well, we got what we came for. Yeah, screw it. Let's fly north and see what we find. We. Hello? North? Oh, look. A tower. Go ahead and break this and we'll uh, rename it to the end. What's in here? Some loot and things and stuff. Well, we're going to need these. We're also going to need some end stone, so I'm just going to take some. It's an ender bee. It is an ender bee. Okay. I think we're going to also need some azure silver. I believe. What is magnetite for? Is this iron? It is iron. Nice. Oh, legendary boss. Oh, cool. It's also this guy. Do I have a mob swab on me? I do not. Damn, you're so fast. Thank you, sir. Thanks, you gave me a totem of undying. Nice. And some or orange boots with some decent enchantments. Protection 6. Damn, son is over yonder. Oh, what's down here? Into the mines. The ender mines. There can be uh crates and stuff down here. There's also ender mites which are very annoying. What's in here? Stuff. A bat backpack again. We've got our backpack back. Lots of bees in that. Exploration. Spawner is that Endermite? Goodbye. Let me out. Richard has spawned. The Richard, Richard the Shulker. Thank you for the orange sword. Neat. Let's go back home. We did some minor end exploration. It's pretty cool, I suppose. How's our power situation looking? How are our melons as well? Melons are just getting sucked up, but that's okay. I mean, it is it is fine. This is just getting filled up really fast. Um, we'll just take that out. We don't need that many. <laughs> we might need more substrate though, so I'm just going to toss this in here and let this fill up. With all that substrate. Yeah, screw it. We'll just put that in there. How are these fairing? Are you guys just kicking off completely still? Yeah, you are. Oh, you're still trying to fill this up. Okay. This thing is outputting a ton. You're full. You're not. You're getting drained. Oh, no. You're, you're filling up and getting drained at the same time. We're using 21 KFE somewhere per tick. This is not using that much. I know that for sure. How much wheat do we have? We have 1.6k wheat. Where are we using all that power? Do we need to chuck our wind generators back down somewhere? I mean, we might as well, right? 
they're just sitting in here doing nothing. We might as well get them to do something. We'll just chuck them over here. Yeah, screw it. We'll just put them here. They're not going to produce that much, but they'll produce, they're producing 36 FE per tick. That's fine. It's producing something. It's an extra 70 FE or 72 FE into our system. So yeah, <laughs> so much power. The higher, we can also put these higher. The higher they are, the more power they gain. That's okay. We'll just leave those there since they were doing nothing. Do these have a constant draw? I don't think so. This is going now too. That would make sense as to why uh, we're using so much power. Because this whole system here is going. Yep, yeah, that would that would make sense to me. I need to think of what I want to do, man. There's so much that I could do. Is there a way to get urinanite besides your urinanite bees? But I don't really like messing with bees too much, honestly. In my... For me, I don't like messing with bees. We need essence, though. We need dirt. We need... We're gonna need some seeds, like dirt seeds. Not durst. We need dirt seeds. We're gonna need fire. We're gonna need water. Air. There's another seed that we're gonna need. Earth. We need earth seeds. So we're going to need all of those. So it might be worth making these. Dirt seeds are pretty pretty simple. Just need to make some prosperity seeds. Well, we'll do this. We're going to need dirt seeds for something. Need fire seeds as well. Which we're going to need fire. Oh man, we're going to need more lava buckets. Lava bucket. Now might be the time for us to actually get that... Uh, system with the dripstone working so right here i'm messing with create a little bit i'm using the water wheel to provide some force in order to mess with a mechanical pipe i'm not going to go into too much detail with create right here because there's a lot more to do for create but once i get to that point i will explain everything that i'm doing yeah damn it i was trying to do stuff i want to see if this will actually work so leave me alone. Will this actually output now? If I put lava in here? Oh, do I need the wrench? Like that. Oh, sweet. It worked. Nice. Hell yeah. I finally got it to work. Um, it's very slow, but that's because of the speed. Do I have a gear shift? The sequenced gear shift. Oh, if I want like the speed controller, I'm going to have to get way into create. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'll just let this do its thing. And slowly pump lava into here. Like it to pump it into my system, but I'm not going to worry about that. How many do these give? That just gives one, so I'm going to need more lava. Well... Hey, we have we have a system for filling up with lava now, so that's good. We get automatic lava now. That is cool, and I am so here for this. This is awesome. Hell yes, brother. We did a thing. We were able to do a thing. So now this will just pump lava um, as the dripstone fills it up. Instead of just sitting here, now it will actually accumulate lava and we can pump this into our system later at some point. How is our XP? Are we full? Yeah, we're full. We need another fluid disc. We're gonna need more buckets too. We're out of basic processors and we're out of these. We'll do that and then we will make a couple stacks of these. Whoops, we ran out of something. Don't know what. Silicon? We ran out of silicon, didn't we? Yep. Time to make some more. This will do 4096. And we'll just upgrade this to a disc. So now we can hold more fluid. How's our item storage? We're doing pretty good on item storage. Very nice. Fluid storage is good. Just make, uh, we'll just drain some of that out. Okay, now we can make this fire agglomerate. We need this. Oh, 
Yep, take those out, take these out. We need those and we need water seeds. So we're gonna need water buckets. Let's check my buckets. And the reason for this is because once we set up water and fire seeds and dirt seeds, we will be able to automatically create sand and clay um, with water and fire seeds with the with the proper recipe. So that's why we wanted to do this right here. Just take these out and we'll grab some more inferium. These are what I want right now. I want the other ones, of course, as well, but these are the three that I want right now. And we will get these planted. Nice, we have dirt, water, and fire seeds. Sweet. We'll go ahead and plant these next to the nature seeds. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool. Uh, can we make some more lily pads of fertility? Oh, we need to set up cactus auto farming. Well, we have the network right here. So what we could do is by extension, use this. So let's do sand, grab some sand and place it like so. And what we can do is make a destructor. This will be very useful for us. And what this will allow us to do is auto harvest this cactus. Uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need two of these. Wait, did I plant two? I planted three. So we're gonna need three destructors. So three destructors. Place them on like so. Cable. Grab some cable. Connect these. And we'll uh we'll run this up. Oh, it looks like it's bugging with that one. Okay, there you go, it broke. All right, yeah, we'll move this up to this one, like so. So now these will automatically harvest. As you see, it says pick up items instead of breaking. No, the reason you want this is so when they break the cactus, they should automatically go into your system. And the reason we wanted to put the cactus here is because we have the lily pads here and the lily pads actually help the cactus grow as well. And we need cactus. Well, it looks like we're gonna need something to pick these up, but the cactus is what we need to make lily pads. So it works. Mob absorption hopper. Yeah, we'll make one of these. We'll make one of these and this will vacuum up items that are dropped. Place this here. Go we'll pick up items. And then we can make an importer and put that on there. That will automatically pick up the cactus for us. And then it will automatically get put into the system. Oh, whoops. Because we put that item hopper there, it kind of screwed it up. Well, uh, let's move move the item hopper then oh damn it yeah we can't have anything by the cactus I forgot so let's do this uh, you can also do the same thing with like fences if you want to uh, I think fences work as well like when it grows buy it so we'll just do this and we will put the importer on top and then we'll just cable it to here and we'll plant the cactus there then we need to tell it so up we'll tell it to output items and since this is now shifted over we want to shift this over here so it's in the middle there we go all right perfect so now this should automatically harvest cactus for us sweet and like i said you could also use fences i could like remove this whole cable setup here and just do fences um but i didn't think about that at the time but that's okay. Now we have a way to get cactus, which is really cool. And then the more lily pads we put there, the more they'll grow as well. It's exponential. It's pretty freaking neat. Oh, we need more rib bones. Do we not have any getting dropped by those skeletons? We have none. 
Are you guys serious? You guys really aren't dropping any. Oh, it's because we only have probably because we only have one skeleton on there, huh? Wait, we don't have any skeletons in there, do we? Enderman, skeleton. Oh, we didn't put an agitator on the skeleton. Well, that's a mistake. That is a mistake and a half because we were missing a ton of rib bones because of that. Well, now it should work. Now the skeletons should spawn. And then we should start getting rib bones. One can hope. They should start flowing in eventually because we have, okay, we have 23 catalyzing glands. That's good. Now we just need to wait on the rib bones. Okay, there's one. Nice. Would you look at that? Let's check our uh, essence. So we already have some dirt and fire essence, and this is why I wanted the water essence and that stuff as well, because if you see here, not only can you make the concrete stuff, but this is the main thing. You can make clay, and if you remember, clay is used in these prediction matrices. So with the clay, you can set up automatic crafting with the prediction matrix, and then with the fire seeds here, you can set up automatic sand creation with dirt and fire essence, which means you can get the glass that you need for these glass panes here so you can have it automatically craft sand automatically cook sand and then automatically craft glass panes so then you can automate the prediction matrix crafting so you never run out which i do believe we are actually out of probably i would assume that we're out of those what can we make with the generalized predictions oh we can make quite a few things oh nice you can just craft nether stars like that <laughs> And ender pearls, okay. We need dragon's breath, but to get dragon's breath, you need ender dragon predictions. Which reminds me that we did get four of them from here. We have the basic ones. Uh, so let's make a ton of prediction matrixes real quick. Oh, we're gonna need more glass panes. Let's make a ton of those, and let's make a ton of these. Just make as many as we can. Oh, we we're running out of gold, actually. Whoops. Okay, so those are getting output down here into this barrel. So now let's take our data models out and let's put the Ender Dragon ones in. Um, because we would like to get some dragon Dragon's Breath. These will go ahead and cook up and they'll slowly upgrade their model accuracy as well. Just like before. This one succeeded. Nice, and we got an Ender Dragon prediction. Okay, so with the Ender Dragon prediction, we can grab this. And let's check what we can make with it. Ooh, we can make green hearts. Nice, and dragon eggs. So we want Dragon's Breath real quick. We want one of those to cook up. Nice, so there we go. Let's go ahead and make some speed upgrades. Need to put it on this importer here. Boop. So those will get kicked out. Oh, we got another dragon prediction. So we could toss this onto here. Then it'll automatically output them. We're just going to do one more of that. And when the next one comes through, we'll change it. We do want another dragon egg, though. That is something that we do want. Yeah, we have a ton of prediction matrixes in here. So that's good. Yeah, the loot fabricator is really nice. This is going to be very helpful for things. It is very expensive in regards to power. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, these are these are quite expensive. They use 2,000 uh, or 4,096. Oh, I guess it depends on the data model. Yeah, for the Ender Dragon, it uses a ton. Damn. Okay, maybe we only run two, because that is very very expensive. And we'll just throw these uh, other Wither ones in here. Yeah, that's very expensive for our power actually. And we will go ahead and craft. We'll just change it to the Green Hearts. So we have more room to expand for our data models, but for now, I mean, that they're super duper expensive, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. We would need to solve a power problem. Which, at power, okay, so it might be time to do that. So we're going to need modular router. We're going to need a modular router. We're going to need a crafter from refined storage. And then we can start setting up auto crafting. I do want to set up a little area to for this, but for now we can just do it with this for now. Do a stone button here. Grab this. We're going to need some stuff from modular routers. We're gonna need this puller module. We're definitely gonna need that. And we're gonna need 
I think that's all we need. But, oh, and the detector module. We're going to need one of these as well. So we're going to need these two because of what we're going to want to do now. And we'll probably also make a stack upgrade here. Uh, so we can pull things out faster. What I'm planning to do right now is to put down the modular router right over here on the power orb. Set up a modular router like that. And put the puller module not in there. Right click that. So it's pointing at the energizing orb so it's ready to pull. Drop that in there. Now what we need to do, we need to put a detector module in here. And it's going to detect when the puller module goes off and it should send a redstone pulse. We need to set the crafter onto this here. There we go. We're also gonna just need to set up a network receiver over here. Let's place this back down. These are still going. And we want this to redstone pulse inserts next set. So this thing is going to pull items out of the power orb and when it pulls things out, it's gonna send a pulse, a redstone pulse, and that redstone pulse is gonna hit this block here and it's gonna tell it to put in another item into the power orb. Also set a stack upgrade in here so it pulls every item and puts it into its buffer. Uh, we're gonna need a network receiver though for this specifically because we need it to touch our refined storage network. So let's put the transmitter down like so. Power orb. So oh, power orb. All right, let's go ahead and put the network receiver down over there and we'll put this right here. We'll grab that. Grab this right here and we'll throw this into our network transmitter. One there. Now we're gonna need another grid here. We need a pattern grid. And this is where we start getting into auto crafting. Now we're gonna need a bunch of patterns. So now we have the pattern grid, which means we need to move this beautiful lantern. Say goodbye lantern. Okay, now we have the pattern grid and this is what we wanna do here. So we wanna look for a recipe and what we want to find is the uraninite here. And what you can do is you can tell it, you can do this here. We go here and we see, oh, this is a recipe. You shift click this and now you see it says processing here. So what it's telling it is that this isn't part of a crafting recipe. This is part of a machine processing recipe. So you tell it to input one raw uraninite and it should get out two cooked uraninite. So we're gonna go over here and we are going to drop this recipe into here so now you can see this crafter here is called energizing orb. And what that means is any recipe that the energizing orb can take, if we put the pattern in here, that means that it knows how to craft this specific recipe for the energizing orb. And we can utilize this by going into here. We can go into our system here and we can display only craftables. And what we should be able to do is this, we click start. And it should drop the items in, it gets cooked, it sends out a redstone pulse, and then it should go again. But it looks like we messed something up. I have, I am confusion. Have I, have I done a goof? Okay, polar modules there. Redstone pulse inserts next set. Let's check craftables, let's do three. Takes it, inserts it. What the frick? What? What just happened? It's told to make 128 uranite, uraninite, and let's see if it just continues to go. I don't know what the problem was. I really don't. I don't understand what the problem was at all. I literally just left it set up like I did. I just moved it and I upgraded this crafter. I don't know if the other crafter is broken. I have no idea. But I typically do this with an iron crafter anyway. I just overlooked that because I was like, oh, it's a crafter. I can do the same thing. Maybe I can't. Um, so yeah, iron crafter with this. And I'll go ahead and explain how this works again. So we used, what the frick was that? Lightning just struck my house. What the hell? Okay, so let's go over this process. So we have this pattern grid, right? We... 
went in to the raw uraninite here and we looked at its recipes. We said, okay, we want to use the energizing orb recipe here. So we shift click these items. These aren't real items right here. This is just what it could output to. We have it, it's automatically set to processing. So it knows that it's a processing recipe. Then you make the pattern, you create the pattern here and it makes the pattern. Then what you need to do is you throw your pattern into a crafter like this. And you want the crafter to be pointing at the item that you want to put items into. In this case, it's energizing orb. If it doesn't say the name of the item that you're pointing it at, that means it's not working. And in the case of the energizing orb, we want to make sure that a redstone pulse is what tells it to insert the next set because the energizing orb here does not allow you to put multiples of the same item in to complete a process. So you need to make sure that it's set to put the exact amount of items in, you wait for it to finish, then you tell the modular router to always check if there's anything to pull out of the item, which we use the polar module mark two to do. And you, sh you crouch right click on the energizing orb here and you see it's, it says that it's looking at the energizing orb at those exact coordinates. Then what we did was we made a detector module and the detector module, you shouldn't have to do anything with it. What that does is whenever the modular router does something, it sends out a redstone pulse. That redstone pulse is then read by the iron crafter here to insert the next set of items. Then we set an importer on the side of the modular router here to pull things out of the buffer and put them into our system. You see, it's getting pulled out. We also inserted a stack upgrade here so that the modular router, when it's pulling items out of here, it will pull everything out so it doesn't send multiple redstone pulses and potentially mess up this, this process here. So it'll only send one redstone pulse once it pulls every item out of the energizing orb. That's the gist of what we just did here. Uh, if it was hard to follow along, I apologize, but that's just how my brain understands it. So this is the first step in our auto crafting. Now, what I do plan to do is make uraninite seeds because I don't feel like getting into uraninite bees. Another exception to the rule that I made for myself that I'm going to ignore, which is for the mystical agriculture seeds. I still haven't made any, good lord, that's a lot of stuff. I still haven't made any for iron. I still haven't made any for gold, diamonds, etc. So I'm still doing good on that part. Good lord, we have so much... We have so much Inferium now, but yes, we did. We are going to do that because we want, we want the ability to have Uraninite growing so we can use the power reactor and that will allow us to automatically get the resources that we need for that, which is going to be really nice for us because then we can have automatic uraninite being cooked up and then we can set up auto crafting for that as well then we can also set up auto crafting for inferium at some point also but for now we are not going to do that yeah we're gonna need another one so we're, what i'm doing right now is i want to make i want to make a master crystal just so we don't have to continue to make these crystals here uh, because it is a pain in the butt so i don't want to deal with that we're gonna need a bunch of essence cooked up here I believe we have enough to make it. Yep. All right, perfect. Now we have the Master Infusion Crystal and what this will allow us to do is we can use this with any type of essence and it'll just allow us to craft with it. We don't have to use separate crystals anymore. So it's really nice. All right, we have 12 of those. We have 12 Supremium. Now I want to make Supremium growth accelerators. If I can do that, we should be able to. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we have six of these. Now we can place these down and it'll help our plants grow faster. So let's just do it in this corner, this here. We'll just do them across. So they'll help each of the plants above grow faster. And then we can just add more and more onto those as we continue our journey to become rich. All right, cactus. How much cactus do we have? Change this back to normal. Cactus, we already have 138. Look at that. Isn't that nice? This is just doing 
it's just doing its thing and we can make that faster and faster how many rib bones do we have now we have 10 sweet so we can make some more lily pads slime pearls we're out of slime pearls well you know what's really nice is we have that dragon egg here and we can go to our spawners grab our agitators and let's grab a cardboard box that has a spawner in it and we can set up a slime spawner let's grab the slime egg and let's grab some deep slate we have the runic deep slate and we have this cut down deep slate but we need regular deep slate real quick because we need to turn this into deep slate that we need so we want a stack of that and we're going to want a stack of the runic is it runic carved yeah it is nice okay so now we have some of that and let's let's finalize these uh lily pads here real quick and we'll just throw them into the farm so they're working while we are doing while we are expanding our mob farm real quick so let's throw this down right here and let's put this one here so now we have three on each side there we go nice and we'll just continue to expand that operation okay over here we need take this and do that there we go how far is this out from the central one so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine okay one two three four five six seven eight eight nine okay now we need to take these do this we're gonna need the fan we're gonna need to put it in the wall so let's put it here we're gonna need slabs we need framed slabs for this oh we need more of those well deep slate grab this just realized that we've just left the mob tap open <laughs> whoops need more deep slate and i probably want to set some to cook as well there it is runic carved okay let us go back over to the mob farm we can do this and then we need redstone put the redstone up here need the lever it's on the back of this that should turn on the redstone okay it does all right remove that this is the skeleton let's go ahead and put the slime egg on here and then we can put the dragon egg on here so now the dragon egg says ignores conditions so the conditions now will be ignored for spawning slime so i don't have to be in a slime chunk for them to spawn which is really cool spawn range we're gonna need some blaze rods so we can reduce this range let's grab some of these wacky blaze rods don't forget the nether quartz because if not you're just going to increase the value like i've done so let's go with two actually i think it needs three for the slimes okay we'll do that and then we will place some of these down here should be fine to just go this low Then we'll place them here. And we'll also place it on the corners. All right, and this should stop any mobs from spawning outside of it. So we need to make some mob fan upgrades, but we're gonna need quite a few distance. I think we need seven. So that should be enough, right? That's plenty, that's plenty enough. Let's uh, take two of those out. Oh, three of those out. Like that. This one should be good. Yep, it's reaching all of that except for that one over there. So this one we'll probably wanna put the uh, distance on so it reaches there. There we go. Okay, so all the fans reach now, which is good. You can turn this off. And let's grab some Aldamadium so we can reduce this all the way down. That's all the way reduced, okay. Let's throw those in there. Let's toss a agitator onto here and see what happens. Let me turn this on. So now slimes should be popping out and they should get flung under there. 
We're gonna need some more glass, some more of this uh, tinted glass. Did we run out of glass? We did. And now, actually, we need to. This is one of the times where we need to disconnect our thing here so that the slime uh, drops build up and then we can make sure that we store all of them properly so they're not getting thrown into the trash and let's grab the slime that we have in here so we can store it properly in the system down there we need to grab some sand so we can make some glass and then we can make there's our glass there it is damn it's so much it's so fast There we go, I got it. <laughs> I couldn't grab it. All right, let's make a stack of that. And we'll go finish up the glass on top over there. Now we can finish this. Oh, yep, looks like slimes are spawning, that's good. I think we need to increase the range if we want big ones, and I think that's why it's spawning the smaller ones. That should be okay, we should still get drops. Yeah, we are, all right, perfect. So we're getting slime. Oh, we are out of space here. We need another drawer. Can these be compressed in any way? Because we might be able to store the slime in a compressed block form. Looks like we can. Um, all right, sweet. So what we can do is utilize one of these compression droids here. Well, it looks like it can only do two. Hey, you, stop that. But that's okay, because it can still store quite a bit. Now we can just store all of that in there. Need to put that away. The slime pearls. Now we can just drop it into here. And those will go ahead and get stored once we connect the system back up. We need a configuration tool and our linking tool. Let's link to this. We will lock this and we'll link it to our system. So now all the slime is getting pulled out and stored into here. Sweet, and it's linked up to our external storage so we should see our slime, nice. And our slime pearls are also in our external storage so now we just need to turn this back on. And we should be good. That'll begin clearing this out and our slime will be stored, beautiful. And our slime pearls. Progress, baby. That's what I like to see. Okay, awesome. Let's just chuck that in there. Awesome, so now we are officially getting slime drops. That's really good. Hell yes. Now we can make more of these. We'll just nab as many as we can. And then we'll make as many of these as we can. That's two more, okay. And we can continue to upgrade this farm. I'll place this one over here so it affects these right here. Actually, let's see, how much can we craft? Okay, quite a bit. Nice, so that's a lot of sand we just got. We just got 300 sand, I think, about, around. That's good. These uh, seeds over here are growing, growing very nicely. Inferium, we're already back up to 1.6K. We've gotten 600 since we crafted all of that to make that master crystal. So with, with urine and I, you can, you can also just smelt it up and you'll get one out of it. But the better thing to do, of course, is to energize it with the power orb because you get two out of it. So that's why I set that up because I wanted to get the most out of that system. So, but now, since we know how much we have, what we can do is we can go into here. And since we know we get two per and we have 128 raw, we can just go up to 256 and it will cook up all of our uraninite into, or raw uraninite into uraninite proper. Look how many nether stars we have. Damn, how many hearts do we have? We already have a hundred, we already have a hundred green hearts. Good lord. Okay, let's go down here, see how this is doing. Oh, it's got none right now. Okay, that's putting out more nether stars, that's good. Change this to eggs. Let's get some more eggs. We're gonna need more of those. And I'll just I'll just let it collect uh, some dragon eggs. We're not gonna need so many, but we will need a few. Let's see if we can make our green heart canisters here. Ah, uh, we're gonna need shulker boxes and more yellow heart canisters, which we don't have. But we can burn these down and get them if we smelt it down. 
Yeah, we smelt it down. We can get the yellow ones. And then we can use the green ones to make yellow ones. So let's take some of these. Let's just melt them down here. And then we'll do this. And then we can take this and we can convert these into the yellow hearts. And then we can take the red hearts and do this and craft them into yellow hearts. Now we have yellow hearts. So now we can craft 10 of these if we have enough. Oh, we're not going to have enough diamonds and emeralds, are we? No, we are not. You know what that means? That means that we need to go mining. That's literally what that means. Damn. You got to go mining again. That's okay. I don't mind mining. Let's, can we clear out our dank very easily? Is there a way to output this? Void pickup, maybe? I'll just do void pickup for now, so it'll void all of those blocks. And we want to go to the mining dimension real quick. And use our boon of the earth, because we need more resources. Is this thing done? Did you dig all the way down? We... Yeah, you did. I can see bedrock down there. Okay, well, let's move you. We're going to move you to another spot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is a nine by nine. Okay. So one, two, three. Now this is going to work on... Oops, I put it over one too many. Damn it. Grab all of this out. Put that on there. Put that on there. Whoops. Put that there. Do this. Drop that. Okay, now you're going to work. There we go. Now it'll evenly go down and mine this chunk out. Whoops. And now we... We'll go to my mining hole over here and go down and use some Boon of the Earth. Good lord, we mined a ton already. Look at that. Damn! Well, I need to uh, replace these stairs. Just do it with ore. Yeah, just like that. I wonder if I can put Boon of the Earth on my... Uh, once I make the quarry or the chunk destroyer. Ooh, that's what we might be able to do here. We might be able to make the chunk destroyer. After we do some mining here. Now, the mining debuff while flying is actually really annoying for me. Um, so I might do something with enchantments. But first, I think I want to make the chunk destroyer. Because I think that would be pretty cool. And maybe try to put Boon of the Earth on that. And see how that works out. Because that should give us a ton of ore. Like we're already getting quite a bit. But it will give us even more. Because it's just going to annihilate chunks. And give us all of that. Uh, all of those precious resources. Okay, let's go back home and check to make sure this is working. All right, it's getting output. That's good. That is good to see. How many eggs do we have? Dragon eggs. We have 38. That should be plenty. So let's check down here and let's change this back to hearts. Actually, we'll change this to dragon's breath real quick because I think I'm going to need more. We'll just change it back to hearts. Screw it for now. We have more dragon's breath. Now we need the dragon head. We're going to need more of this. Oh, we're going to need an enter dragon prediction for that. So let's just tell this to stop importing those. And we'll keep those in the system. Because we're going to need more dragon heads. All right, we can make one more of those. And another one. And let's see if we can make the chunk destroyer. All right, I think we're going to have enough resources once we deposit all of this. But we're going to go ahead and take the diamonds out and we'll chuck those into the system manually so we can get the diamonds done already. Let's chuck these into the crushing factory. They should automatically go in there. Oh, enrichment chamber. They go into here. Duh. That's why. So drop those into there. We'll have a ton of uh, diamonds now. Well, some diamonds. We need emeralds as well. So we'll chuck those in there and then we'll go ahead and put our stuff into here. Um, that was a lot of raw ore. 
that's good. We have so much now. What's saltpeter turn into? Saltpeter dust, which is probably just another Greg Tech thing. Yeah. It's needed for something. I just don't know what. Well, we have a ton of that. So that's good. Now let's look at this chunk destroyer. So we're going to need a bunch of eyes of ender. Which we can make a ton of these because we have a bunch of blaze rods now. So let's make that. And then we'll make these. Make a stack of those because we're going to need that for the chunk destroyer. Now we need some quarry pluses. Ooh, this is mad expensive actually. We won't be able to afford it still. Let's check our diamonds. Yeah, we're not going to be able to afford that. Because we're going to need... We need eight diamond blocks which is more diamonds than we have unfortunate so we can't afford that right now that sucks how much wheat do we have we'll make some uh we'll make a bunch of bread and we will go ahead and let's remove that let's make an exporter let's just tell the system to export bread we'll make some speed upgrades We're gonna need one more so we can make a stack upgrade. Now oh, screw it, we'll just make two more. And then we'll make a stack upgrade. And now we will drop the exporter here. And we'll drop these in and we'll tell it to export bread. So now the bread should get cooked up into toast just fine. There we go. Now we're gonna take the toast. And we gonna use it in our backpack. What do we have right now? A stack upgrade tier two. Let's just make another one. Let's make another uh, tier two. And we'll put it in our backpack for now since we're low on diamonds. Which does suck, but that's okay. Where's our toast at? Take the toast. And we'll chuck the toast into here. Now the toast, now stuff can stack by a ton, uh, up to 1,024 cool okay so what do we want to do we kind of have the spawner situation handled now with these uh agitators at the moment at least while we're while we're near home so i'm not too too hung up or worried on that that was the only reason i was going to do our nouveau anyway if we're being completely honest that's all i was going to do it for so i'm not too worried about that at the moment I think uh, the Chunk Destroyer would be a good idea, though. I do absolutely think that would be a good idea. Which means we need more diamonds. Which we can't really deal with right now. Unless we go mining again. And I don't want to deal with the mining speed loss while I'm flying. So that means that we might want to think about an enchantment area. That might be something that we want to do. How's our lava looking down here? Look at that, nine buckets already, nice. It's it's doing its thing, slowly but surely. Okay, let's, hmm, what do I wanna do with this? Oh, we have a bunch of cactus. Take these down. Maybe we use these and this here and we grab the item pipes and we make more melon farms, yeah. Let's do that. More melons. You guys ever seen such a big melon farm? Because I haven't. I have never done it like this. <laughs> I've never had to use this so much. But I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean... Shit, this, this thing's doing work for us, man. How are we doing on melons right now? We're sitting at 93k. So it's... I mean, it's pumping out biofuel, though. We have so much biofuel in here. Good lord. These things are running strong. We have a reserve of 256,000. Good lord. These are full. They're all pumping at 700 or 7.42k, so they are they are maxed out. We are losing power slowly but surely, but I think that's because this is generating so much. But that also means that how's oh, our ethylene? Are we are we balanced out? We can't even burn it fast enough. These are full as well okay so we can chalk oh this one is full at least these ones are not 
So these guys are getting drained immediately. Um, are you outputting? Yeah, you're outputting. Maybe we need another gas burning generator. This might be the time though to do the starts of the generator though, because we need more power, which means we're gonna need the reactor. That's what I meant, reactor. It's a bunch of these, which means we're gonna need a ton of these. And we're gonna need a ton of these. So we're gonna need eight in total crafted to make the full reactor, because you need 36 blocks. Or no, we're gonna need nine in total, rather. So let's do that. We're gonna need more tiny capacitors, which means more basic capacitors. We need 36 total. All right, 36. Let's grab some free rewards. Okay. We got dry ice. Neat. Let's go ahead and chuck this in here. Um, yeah, since we were low on power, which is an unfortunate thing, I think I'm just going to go ahead and work on the reactor here. Need basic. So we're going to need 60 four of these, right? If we need four each, that's nine times. So we need 36 of these. So 36 of those. There's the basic reactor. And we're gonna need a lot of these energizing steels, which need gold and iron. And this is where we can also use the pattern grid again. So we need this and this, and then we can go here to the energizing orb, do this, create the pattern. And then we can go down here, chuck the pattern in. We can go back to here, go to craftables only, and we tell it we need 36 of these. Actually, how much do we need? Let's just craft 64. Screw it. We'll just craft 64. Thank you. So that will get to work and that will auto craft all of those for us so we don't have to manually throw them in, which is really nice. And now we can worry about these, which need four each. Ooh, we're gonna need nine more of these. Is that right? Am I am I correct? Oh, we're gonna need plenty more than that. So we're gonna need four per, so that's nine. So nine times four again, so that's 36 that we're gonna need. But we need to wait on the energizing steel. And we're actually gonna need we're actually gonna need more. So let's just Let's just craft some more. We can check the status here. Oh, what are we out of now? We're out of dielectric powder. So let's make some more of that. Oh, we need more blaze. So we're going to need more of this. Let's go ahead and craft more. Because we're going to need more of this. There we go. Craft more of these. What are we out of now? Basic capacitors. Make those, make these. All right, we need two more. Uh, I think that's because we already had two. Okay, so now we can upgrade this to the maximum one. Drop those in there and boom. Now we have the hardened reactor. What's the next level? Blazing capacitors, which need blaze rods to make. And we would need I think we're gonna need a lot of those, right? Let's see here. So it's four for two, and that's, that's four blaze. So we're gonna need 72 blaze rods, which we don't have enough for, and that is okay. Uh, we can just go ahead and place down the hardened reactor here, and we will go ahead and place this right here for now, and it'll build itself. Boom, reactor time. Turn on auto mode just in case. Now, we wanna go under this, right there. We need a cable, and we need to place this right there. It will output power, and that'll eventually get pumped into the system, even though it's a long chain, but that's okay. This power will also probably just immediately go over to here because the power cable is so long, so it'll probably just immediately get pulled out of the reactor first. Now we need to set up an exporter for this. 
reactor here. Let's go ahead and make one of these, and we're gonna need a stack upgrade, most likely. So let's go ahead and make some of those. We'll make some of these. We'll make a stack upgrade. We need more sugar, that's okay. And we'll place this onto here. Now this is where things get interesting because we want ice to go into here, but we don't, right now, we don't have a way to get ice automatically. So we need to look if there's a way to get ice crafting. There, in ATM8, it was very easy. Uh, there was like a freezer thing that you could use, but I don't think it's that easy in ATM 9. Yeah, we need ice essence. We, we can make seeds for it, but I don't really want to do that. That's one of the things that I don't want to do. I don't want to use ice seeds. That means that we need a react, we need a pressure chamber. We need snow as well. How do you get snow? We need a fluid solidifier. But that would mean that we'd have to get into Greg Tech, and I really, really do not want to do that. But there's one thing that I do not want to do. I don't want to get into Greg Tech, man, like at all. Maybe we'll do a snow golem <laughs> prediction thing. Maybe we'll do snow golems, because then they drop uh, snowballs, which we can auto craft into snow. And then we can set up a pressure chamber, but I've never used uh, pneumatic craft. Let's look up silk touch. Do we have anything with silk touch on it? We do. We have an iron pick with silk. So we might disenchant this here. We'll disenchant silk touch so I can have silk touch. Do we have any souls? We have one. Oh, we have two. Okay, so we'll take silk touch off of this and we'll put it on our shovel, I guess. And for the shovel then, we probably wanna see if we can get there we go, just like that diamond effectiveness. But we don't want the three by three area. It's not the best. Um, let's just re-roll this. Let's just re-roll that, see if we can get diamond effectiveness. Again, no. Re-roll it again. Diamond effectiveness? Down there, that's six arcane sands. Do we have any? Uh, we have golden, those gold pants that we can, uh, sacrifice for some arcane sand. So let's do that. Perfect. Drop that in and we'll drop this in. Block drops teleport to us. It has diamond effectiveness. Awesome. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good one for the shovel there. And we'll go ahead and make some bookcases. We can enchant this. We'll just go ahead and make a basic enchanting area real quick. that if we can get efficiency three on that and we can improve this enchanting table by a lot uh but for now I'm not too worried about it let's do this drop this in here drop this in here we'll get efficiency three and fortune two nice i don't know why we need fortune on shovel but we got that now we can go to our anvil drop this in here with silk touch i can't put silk touch on it is it because it has fortune is that why? I don't know. But I'll I'll use a disenchantment book to check, which sucks because I really don't want to use another one of my graves. But we'll do it because screw it. Okay, let's try this again. Silk touch. Okay, I think it was because of fortune too. Well, now we have silk touch and efficiency on this, and it has diamond effectiveness against all blocks. And you're probably asking, okay, why did we go through all of that? Well, 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 it's because I want to go collect that ice from our spawn. So we'll go to spawn. And we are going to silk touch the shit out of this blue ice. Or packed ice, rather. Yeah, we want, we want all this packed ice. So we can use it for our reactor. I did say in episode one that this would be really useful for... Our reactor, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Is there anything I can use to craft this? Can I craft this into blue ice? Okay, I can. All right. Um, I might just use packed ice though. For now, it'll provide good cooling, and we're getting quite a bit of it. Yeah, we have quite a bit, so let's just collect some more. 
that we can not have to worry about it for a while until I figure out what I want to do specifically to automatically get ice. Because I'd like it to be an automatic thing. I always want to have everything as automated as possible. That's just how my brain works. Well, that was dumb, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, that's a lot of ice. We should be fine for a while with that. This doesn't have any stack upgrades on it. Whoops. Let's drop those in there then. There we go. Now we have a ton of ice. Ooh, I also want to output this raw redstone into here too. So we'll do that as well. So that gets cooked up. Damn, look at all that redstone. We're gonna have so much now. We just had 3.5k redstone, by the way. Uh, we had 3.5k, and now we're gonna have so much. <laughs> Let's look up ore. What is it, a uh, magnetite? Yeah, raw magnetite. We'll do this one as well. Oh, damn, we have so much still. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have so much redstone now. Good lord! <laughs> We have quite a bit of, uh, we have quite a bit of coal. Let's see. We have coal ore, we have tiny coal, and we have coal, raw charcoal. You know what might be a good idea? Is setting up one of these to export through our system. Um, maybe I'll put exporters, or I'll, you know what I'll do actually is I'll set up an item pipe in a drawer to output these. Drawer, no not drawer, uh, we'll do a barrel. Let's convert all of these to sophisticated barrels. Redstone torches. Convert all of these. Let's upgrade this one to an iron barrel. Let's make an importer. Because we're going to need one for this. Let's do that. And this. Go here. Can we turn this into charcoal? Yes, we can. Okay, so we'll have this uh, undead tree we'll have this turn into charcoal the uh undead we need item pipes and as always we are all over the place again and that's just that's just how my brain's working right now i'm seeing things that i want to improve and i'm trying to improve them <laughs> bear bear with me now please okay let's do this go down here does this reach into our basement should if we go down here. Yep, right here. Oh, that's too low. That there. Let's mine this. And we will need some cable. So let's grab this cable. And let's run this down over here. Whoops. Place this there. Place the importer here. Place the cables onto that. Well, now I want more speed upgrades. I always want more. Oh, we're out of this again. Make these. Okay. Drop those into there. Now we'll do this to all of these. Have all of these output into the barrel here and that'll get dropped into our system this is what i wanted to do i just wanted to have this all uh, get out put into our system uh mainly because i was thinking about charcoal and how instead of using coal i wanted a renewable source of carbon to put into our reactor because we're gonna need to do that and i thought maybe i'll do Maybe I'll cook up some of these logs here. And I was like, huh, well actually I need to output these logs. So what do I, what do I do? Oh, well then I can just do this system here. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna have this just cook up all of this stuff right here. So we can have renewable charcoal. And actually let's cancel that. I wanna get a, I wanna put charcoal into the drawers there. So, 
Let's do that. We'll put charcoal over here so it's not storing in our system. There we go. Now we can put this back in here and that'll just cook. And the charcoal should not fill up our system now. Nice. I guess we'll do the same for coal. So let's get all this out. Um, that was a mistake because what I should be doing instead is make an exporter and just tell it to output to something else. I'll just quickly do this in this. Do that and I will No, I can just go in here and cancel this. So it won't output anything else. All right, so that's canceled go over here. Let's grab this single remove we'll remove this and we'll tell this to do that and then we'll say charcoal where's just regular coal oh it's right there so we'll do that that'll output all of our charcoal into here quickly get it out of our system not quick enough but you know man surprisingly we're running low on gold we have a ton of iron from the iron golem farm. Is that all of the coal? Yep, we're out of coal. Okay. Let's break this. And link it back to the system. Now we have coal. Sweet. Alright, cool. Now the coal is in there and charcoal. Now we can go back and tell this, hey, cook up all that crap. Okay. Now that we have that all settled, let's grab this exporter. We already put an exporter down, okay. What we wanna do is tell this to export your Ennanite. We wanna tell it to export redstone. We wanna tell it to export packed ice and charcoal. There we go. So this will all get put into the reactor. We also need another sink. Which I need a water bucket for. Oh, nice. We have water essence so we can make a water bucket just like that. Isn't that something? Okay, so we have another sink here. And we will place it here. Now we need a pressure. Not pressurized, right? That's for... We do not. Okay, so I'll just use a fluid pipe then. And we will upgrade this. Place this here. Do this. Drop that in. This is has this has water now. And once we hook up the cabling to here, it is gonna start going. Because we already set it up to automatically output everything. Now this thing is filling up. Oh, we need to put this in here. Give our speed one too. There we go. Okay, so now this generator is filled with all of the blocks and it is generating power for us. We have auto mode on. So when this reaches 70% of its stored power, it'll stop producing power and then it'll just get drained. And then once it's uh once it's not getting drained anymore, or once it gets drained down below 70%, again, it'll start producing more power. So this will probably cut off. We have auto mode on, right? Yeah, auto mode on. It's filling up though. It's Nothing is using its power. Everything extracts, but it's not getting extracted from. Is that... It's getting max... These are still maxed out over here. Why aren't you being extracted from, buddy? Do I need to put another entangle porter over here? Maybe I do. I might need to do that, actually. That sucks. I didn't want to have to make another one of these for a while. But I will. I will if I have to. Oh, damn. We have a ton of infused alloy. Okay, well, shoot. Uh, let's just dump that redstone. I'm not too worried about that. Let's enrich this. We'll check this in here so it can cook up as much as it can. You need two of those, right? Yep, two of those, which means we're gonna need more diamonds. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna need refined obsidian dust. K 
Okay, and we're gonna need one more of these. We need refined obsidian ingots. We just need to go into the osmium compressor. Let's grab some uh, osmium. We'll just chuck that in there. So it doesn't run out. And let's get the entangle porter here. Okay, let's put this under the reactor. Put that under there. We'll put it onto the power network and we'll tell it to for energy. Take inputs, auto eject on. So now this is getting drained way faster than it can put in. That's okay. This thing is now generating power. It's draining super fast though because or the uraninite's gonna drain super fast because it doesn't have any power stored. Uh, that's just how it goes. But our power is at least good for now. We're gonna run out of uraninite, which is why we need to make uraninite seeds. Oops, we need to cover this up and this up. So we have a entangle porter under that, but we have everything full, so this is good. And redstone will slowly get drained. This will slowly get drained. Can we put... Can we put redstone blocks in there? Instead? We can. Is it better? Don't think so. Or if it is, I don't know why it would be. Um, but anyway, we did that. We got that part done. So this thing is cooking up. We just need more blaze rods, um, which might be a good time to go. Ooh, the blood moon's spawning a shit ton of stuff on the edge of my uh, on the edge of my torches. We might want to grab a cardboard box and go find a blaze spawner, so I can set that up. Matter of fact, I probably just want to get a blaze egg instead, so we don't have to worry about terrible spawners. So let's just get a swab. We can get a mob swab instead. And we can swab a blaze so we can get a blaze that way. And the reason we want to do that is because we would like we would like to not have to worry about upgrading the spawner. Since we already have some good we already have some good spawners, we might as well not force ourselves to worry about wasting all the modium to try to make the spawner as good as possible. But we can probably find a blaze over here. Yep, there's one. We'll grab you. Thank you, sir. Oh, you have died. Whoops. Let's grab a bucket of this. Let's make some GM chicken feed. Like so. Let's grab some seeds so we can reproduce our chickens. Let's grab a spawner from here. Let's feed this to one of the chickens. There's a chicken over here. You're not domesticated by me. Okay, breed. Breed. All right, now we can hook this up. Oh, do we have another agitator? We do. Okay, we only have one more though, which is unfortunate. Uh, we need to turn this off. Turn this off. Oh, we, did we fully enclose this now? Oh, that's right. Well, we have the door at least. So we can go in here. Do that. Put the agitator on there. Put the blaze on there. It's already maxed out. Perfect. Go through here. Disconnect this. Go on a little rampage, I guess. Good lord, you see how many mobs are over here? Okay, well, we killed a crap ton of mobs just now. <laughs> anyway, we just got a bunch of stuff. I wonder how many spawn eggs we got. We got a desert enderman and a creeper spawn egg. Did we get any other spawn eggs? We got a wolf still. We have the vex. Desert enderman. Duck egg. No. Well, we can replace that. We can replace that one husk spawner with this one, though. So we can not get the weird stuff from it because we're gonna we're gonna move those blaze rods all right replace that so it's a regular husk now and since we're gonna get blaze rods from a real 
from a real blaze, then we don't have to worry about that. Remove this, unlock it, take those out, lock it again. I think we're gonna need another drawer on here, probably. So let's go ahead and grab one. Let's just toss those up there. Now we need more upgrades. Let's grab those, put that on there and that one on there. Let's lock these. We will re-add that to the system. Take this blaze rod out. And let's convert all of these just into powder. Because uh, I don't feel like dealing with that right now. The husk is going to drop iron. Which I think it drops iron. Yeah, the husk drops iron. So we're going to need to put an iron ingot over here. But that's okay we'll just drop that there so we can hold some iron uh for the system but hopefully no that should be fine we'll just let it we'll just let it do the thing we're almost maxed on our ender pearls which means we need more upgrades man jeez oh actually i think we can just do this oh, those make weird ass chests let's just make regular chests we do that and uh I don't want to use those, man. Drawer. Chest. Let's make these into regular drawers. There we go. Upgrade these to that. Place one on there. One on there. One on there. Let's make just two copper ones and then do that. All right. Let's turn these on again. And... Wait for the blaze to start spitting stuff out for us. Ash. Ash turns into something that we might need, so let's just store that, I guess. I don't know. We'll take these blaze books and we'll just throw them in our storage. I don't think we... I don't think there's more that we can do with those. It's just dropped from magma cubes. Okay. No, it drops from blazes as well. The molten core. Looks like it does at least. So I'll just put it in here just in case it's like a rare drop. So we'll drop that in there so we can store it. Now let's hook this back up. Oh, actually first need to add this and add this. Then we can turn this back on. All right, now we're getting blaze rods from the real blazes, which means we should get much more. And if we want to get even more stuff, what we can do is, hopefully we can enchant some swords. I know there's a, no, here they are. Okay, Apotheosis Tome. They're the Tome of, at Apoth Tome. With these, what you can do is, you can make enchantments that are specifically for swords with this tome. Let's throw this in here. Let's look for, let's look for looting on here. We're probably not gonna, we're probably not gonna get lucky unfortunately but that is okay let's continue to work sharpness three just sharpness three looting two okay that's good there's one looting one perfect looting two all right more looting and using xp boost mystical enlightenment whoa that one has a lot of stuff so what these books do the sword one specifically, the Tome of Weaponry, it only rolls enchantments that can go on weapons, which is really useful for getting specific enchantments that you might want only to put onto your sword. So it's really nice. But, um, well, we did get kind of lucky here. We got a couple lootings. A few, actually. We got three of them, which is really nice. So now we can make three of these. Do that. Oops, not that that can we do this one too nope because it is stacked onto there we can break that book down though and get the looting separated using an anvil that has a certain enchantment on it so let's go ahead and toss whoops let's toss these into here so now we have multiple more levels of looting Ooh, look at that so they do drop molten cores that's good let's grab all of our molten cores then and drop them back in okay they went into there what about ash? Do we have ash in here? Let's take the ash out, drop it back in there. We're getting blaze rods, that's very nice. And the reason I wanted blaze rods was to potentially upgrade this reactor here. Hello, what do you have? 
Nothing that I really want again. Ah, me too, man. I feel that. Well, let's see how much essence we have. We have 6.3 K. Well, let's upgrade that essence because we're going to need to make your internet seeds. The master crystal, we're going to need this and then IUM to get all of these. Make some of those and now we can do urinite seeds. We need urinite essence which needs urinite seeds which needs supremium because it is a very strong seed to have. So let's do that and take these over here and make urinite seeds. This is, this is one of those things that is not very easily automated. I don't want to mess with bees much. I'm not a I'm not a fan. I've messed with them so much that I just I'm just tired of them. So <laughs> uh, if the only other way to get your internet is with bees, then I'm not gonna do that. And uh, you know what? That that's that's just fine with me. So we'll go ahead and break one of these wheat here, and we'll place the urinite seeds there. That will grow, and that will give us urinite essence, which is really nice. Oh, we got a godforged pearl. Neat. That's uh, the highest rarity for gear in Apotheosis. So that's cool. Uh, let's make Supremium Growth Accelerators. Okay, we only have enough to make eight. That's fine. We do this. Or a six, rather. So where is the Uranonite? It is two over. So one, two, it's right here, I think. I'll just do this to check. Yep, that's it. Okay. Place this back down. All right. So this thing is getting grown fast, but we want to put more under there. We'll just uh, maximize this one for now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go all the way down. We'll just place all of these. So this thing will grow really fast. Let's go over here and do this. Best thing to do actually might be this. Do a small tunnel down. All right, there we go. All right, now we have space down here. Sweet. Okie dokie, so this thing is going to be pumping out urine tonight, hopefully. We already, okay, we have two. That's fine. So urine and I essence will be coming through. That's really nice. Uh, we'll make more seeds uh, going forward. Nah, but we need to wait on the inferior essence. Damn, we already have 600 cactus. Look at that. Just just look at it. This episode, we did a lot of stuff. The focus was not on anything particularly. We've mainly just done a bunch of a little bit of everything. What in the world is that? There's a chicken trying to get in here. <laughs> We've done a little bit of everything everywhere, all over the place. But that's just kind of where we're at right now because I'm trying to prep for a lot of different things at the moment and my brain is just going from over here let's do this let's do that um and I'm sorry I can't really help that that's just where my uh that's where my thoughts are right now with how everything's going but regardless you know we've accomplished so much we've done so much we've set ourselves up for so much success going forward and I'm really excited to start getting into auto crafting we're almost there Actually setting down those urinite essences or the urinite seeds, I definitely need to do auto crafting for those because I want those to automatically be getting crafted for us into urinite. So I'm going to set that up 100%. Uh, I just got to figure out where I want to put all of my auto crafting. Uh, once I figure that out, we will go ahead and we will set all of those up. I'm going to set up a huge line of auto crafting machines. It's going to be really awesome. Then we'll also look into making even better power. We'll look into upgrading that reactor to a higher level. That's why I went and got the blaze spawner because I want blaze rods because we're going to need to make a ton of blazing crystals. And for those, you need blaze rods. It's just so hard to stay on a specific mod just because everything builds off of everything else. So... I apologize if that's not something that you particularly enjoy. That's probably how things are going to keep going. Um, if it's not for you, I understand, but that's just what works for me. And this is how I have the most fun when I'm just going and doing this and then I'm going to do that. Um, you know, it just keeps everything fresh. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all take care and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Goodbye.